So we are having a generation today that is holy on a Sunday morning, but they are nasty on a Sunday evening. They are holy on a Monday morning, but on Saturday they are on Dunga. Why? Because they say a little sin does not hurt. Even God understands. He picks scriptures that justify our mistakes and we forget about those that rebuke us to repentance. All the Bible says for Lord commands everybody to come to repentance because he overlooks the days of ignorance. And the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why? Because they have rejected knowledge. So I have rejected them. It is possible we can come and sing in church but our worship is performance. It is possible we can be the house of God but our worship is about pleasure. It is possible to find ourselves here but our worship is going nowhere. It is possible. Jesus told them these were the people who looked like the priest. He came with his collar from church. He found a man right there. The man was wounded. The man was beaten. And instead of helping the man, the Bible says he took another time. It is possible some people are coming to church for the pastor to see them. And the pastor cannot see them. It is possible to come to church and your usher can't see you. It is possible to come to church until you shift from man's attention and seek the attention of God. So can't worship God. Praise the name of Jehovah God. We have to shift our antennas from pleasing men to a place of pleasing God. I'd rather be right with God and be wrong with every other man. Because when I'm right with God, everything I need shall accompany me. Somebody say Jesus. So we have a, a group of selfish people rising up. A group of selfish people. Don't manzak, are you selfish? We have forsaken teachings that teach us about commitment. We have forsaken teachings that point us to Christ. We have forsaken teachings that show us what servitude is. We have forsaken teachings that show us what loyalty can do. Today we are running for 